Christmas trees. Hello my friends, my name is Lazy Jet and I've got something very cool to show you today. I've got a big box. So, I just got a second hand Christmas tree and a bag of lights and baubles for just 30 pounds. It's Christmas time and this is gonna be the first time ever in my life I'm actually gonna spend Christmas in this flat. Well, not spend Christmas, but you know, this is the first time I've, I'm celebrating Christmas uh, living alone. That's what I meant to say, Oliver. Mm. So when I was living with my mum, I used to put up the Christmas tree, or the family tree, um, and I enjoyed doing it. But now that I'm living alone, I thought, I need to get myself a, my own tree. Um, so I got this uh, seven footer. Uh, I was thinking about going for eight, but uh, my fats, my ceiling is, is too short. So I thought, I'll just go for a seven foot. And I went Christmas shopping with my mum, and we had to look around the range, and we tried to look for Christmas trees, but the thing is, all the Christmas trees were just rubbish. They were too skinny, they were too short, and they were really expensive, and they weren't really quality items. So, my mum had a backup plan, and she looked on Gumtree, and she found a fantastic looking tree that I thought looked fantastic, and I bought it for only £30 and it comes with a bag of baubles and some lights and other bits of decorations. Very nice, Oliver. So the first thing's first. And you get the tree out of the box, look at the instructions to see what I've got, because I haven't I haven't actually had the chance to, in, to inspect this tree yet. I don't know what it's gonna look like. It may it may be broken, it may be um falling to pieces, I don't know. I mean I bought it second hand uh, on gun tree, so um anything can happen. But the first thing's first, I need to move my little uh, table with all my little models on, and I'm gonna move it to the other side of the room and uh, see what we've got. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn the heating off because it's actually really hot. Heating off. That's better. Right, my little bumblebee. Little bumblebee model. Thought I should move that out of the way. Whey. Little Optimus Prime truck. Um, but I'm going to move you because you're made of metal and he's very heavy and quite delicate, of course. Uh, let me. Oh. Oh no. Oh! I just dropped his foot. Oh no. Optimus Prime's foot fell off. Right, we'll move to you, Mr. Uh, corner table thingy. So, corner's all cleared out, ready for my tree. Um, now it's time to unbox this thing. I mean, this, this, this box is pretty big, um, so I'm, and the tape is quite thick as well. So I need a sharp knife or something to uh, cut the tape open. Or cut the tape, not open. Ugh. I don't actually have any like small like knives for cutting cardboard or, or tape, so I have to go through my kitchen knife. Um, this is not ideal. Um, God, this, this is the sharpest knife I've ever held. Gotta be very careful. Don't do, don't try this at home, kids. For God's sake, do not try this at home. Don't do what I do, Jesus. I do not recommend this at all, because even I'm scared just to use this. Put on this side. Oh, I cut the I cut the wrong tape. There we go. Oh yes, that's much better. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, that's, this is oh, this is the stand. It's a bit dusty. It can uh, do a bit of a clean clean. That's okay. I hope it comes with bolts because I might need some bolts to for the stand to actually work. Um, whew, look at that. Is that? Dust was that like fake snow? I can't actually tell. I think it's I think it's supposed to be fake snow, um, but this tree's so old. I mean, the dust and the snow looks very similar. Wow, this is there's so many branches. I didn't know I was gonna put it all together. I mean, in fairness, my mum's tree is much more easier to set up, but this is this is this is still amazing. I mean, this is my own tree, fellas. My own tree. How many branches there are? So these are the whites. Oh, so they're colour coded. So those are the white branches. Um, these are the blue branches. So I'm going to separate the blues and the white branches. So I don't get all confused. Um, oh, hello. These are these are purple branches. Okay, so we've got three different sets of branches. Oh, this is fantastic. Um, oh, what? Oh, no, there's loads of different ones. There's bears. There's, oh my god, there's yellow, there's whites, there's blue, there's purple, there's oranges, there's more whites and more blue. Oh, how many is there? Wow, this is, um, it's not, this is not the most practical tree I've ever seen, but, you know, 
Do. I mean, it, could, it, will look, it will probably look much better once it's finished, and I think that is the top of the tree or the bottom. I don't know. I think that's the top. I'll put that over there for now. I don't know, Mr. Oliver. And we've got blacks. Wow. And we've got yellows. We've got nice yellows. Okay. And we've got two poles. Um, so I guess how do these? How do, how do you go on? Do you? Which one's the top and which one's the bottom? I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Oliver. Mr. Oliver, I just don't know. Does that go in here like... No. Does it go this way? Um, ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, there we go. So that is... Um, it's not very... It's not, so, that, so that's the tree, I guess. It's not very tall. Or do I need to put the, the last bit on? Um, does that go in here like that? Um, oh, pff, it's falling off. I, uh, it didn't come with instructions though, did it? Um, we appear to be missing a screw. Hmm. That's okay. I mean, that's that's pretty solid, isn't it? That goes. That'll work well, though, won't it? I know what you're thinking. It looks terrible. So, like, oh, Oliver, how does this look like a Christmas tree? Um, have patience. So far, this is my Christmas tree, and I've still got all of these branches to do, so <sighs> a lot of work to do. I just realised I'm looking at the camera and the lighting is terrible, so I thought I'd get a close-up of me actually putting the branches on the tree. Right, so these are actually the biggest branches of the lot and there's only one slot to do left which is the bottom so this should be quite easy <coughs> oh, I'm too fat for this as well if you guys are watching this uh, and if you want to leave a comment don't comment and say how unfit I am because I already know that I'm quite fat um, Oh, that's because I eat too much fast food. I, actually, no, I don't eat fast food. I just eat junk food. Not fast food, just like cake and burgers and stuff. And chips. <sighs> oh, wait, hold on, no, chips is, uh, if in America, I mean fries, because um, chips is another word for saying uh, crisps. Because in Britain we say crisps, but chips is crisps in America, and uh, chips is fries. For us, it's, it's all confusing. I don't know. I think this is like one of my favourite part of Christmas is actually putting the tree up. And the thing about my mum's tree is, I mean, I like my mum's tree because it's simple, but it, it, it's it, it, it's too quick. Like when you're trying to assemble it, it's too quick, and it just takes out all the joy and fun about putting a tree up on Christmas. Ow! Ow! Ah! I think I, I just. Ah, oh, I think the branch fell off. Ow. Yeah, I think one of the blue branches fell off, so I'll just put the blue one back on, because I knocked it off by mistake. <sighs> You're nearly done, Oliver. You're nearly done. Put a branch in there. It's because my head's too big, isn't it? It's because I've got a big brain. All right, that's in there. Oh, and the blue branch has fallen off again. It's annoying. 
Uh, little branch, get in there. You in there? Nope, you're not in there. Just get in. Uh, it doesn't want to go in. It's always that last branch that doesn't want to go in. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's put this blue branch back on. Stay on this time. The silly branch. There we go. All right. <laughs> Ta-da! Tree is done. I've fluffed it all out so it looks much more nicer. And just for the first decoration, I've put the star on top already. But what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put the lights on, then put my Christmas tree rug on. I've actually got a Christmas tree rug. And then maybe set up my uh, Hornby uh, train set, maybe underneath the tree where the rug is. Lights on the tree now. Let's see if they turn on. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Moment of truth, fellas. See if it lights up. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's alive. Time to put bubbles on it. Okay, so after spending all day doing my tree and buying decorations and setting everything up and cleaning and building and decorating, might have said that twice, but never mind. It's finally finished. I've got my Christmas lights on my curtains. Look very nice. And my tree is now finished. And I have a little surprise for you guys. Mm, yes, I do. What do you expect to see under the tree? That's right. Presents! No, I'm just kidding. No, actually, no, it is true. You're supposed to find presents under the tree. But under this tree, we don't have presents. No! What do we have instead, Mr. Oliver? We have my Hornby Flying Scotsman! Very nice, Oliver. Very nice indeed. So, the tree is done. I've got my Hornby Railway set up. And if I push this button... Flying Scotsman has sound. How cool is that? So I've got an actual train under my tree. How pretty that looks. That is so cool. Tree is done. Train set's done. The lights on my curtains are done. Look at that. That's... I don't care what people think. That is really cool. That's why I love Christmas. It's so magical, isn't it? It's like the train is actually alive. But anyway, I'm going to close off this video for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you did enjoy this video. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye.
Oh my god! Beautiful! for an experience. I might be an expert at these things. Sort of.